Bam! What do we have right here? We have two pair of heated gloves. One's for me. One might be for one of you guys. So we're gonna be doing an in-depth little review right now. And then we're gonna get on this road on this cold day. <sighs> you guys see that? <sighs> it's freezing in here. We're gonna get on the road on this cold day and really test these puppies out. Let's put them to the test. Let's roll the intro and let's get into it. Yeah, what up? Welcome back to another video, guys. So, like I said, we're gonna be talking about this Sabbath Heat uh, gloves right here. Battery heated gloves. It heats up in three seconds. Uniform heated of the whole piece. Advanced leather, goat skin on it, and it's waterproof, which is pretty pretty cool. Waterproof stuff is always a plus for me right now. Um, so I already went ahead. I took these out the box because I had to charge them before we did this little review here. So these are the gloves right here. They look really nice, really nice design. They fit really snug. Um, I'll be mentioning more once we get on the road. I'll see how they feel on the bike and everything. But as of now, they do feel really good. They don't feel so big and thick to the point where you can't really, you know, move your fingers around or anything. Uh, so that's a plus. They do come with this Velcro strap right here to tighten that up right there in your wrist. And they do have another, um, uh, pull string thing mechanism here to tighten that up so you don't get any cold air going up or in your hands as well. Uh, let me uh, loosen that. Uh, they come with four settings. So the first one, we'll press a button down and it's gonna turn red, right? So that's the highest setting. Then it comes, you press that down, that's the next lower setting. And then you press it again, that's the third lowest setting. And then the fourth setting, which is the lowest one right here. And if you wanna go back up to the highest setting, just press again. And if you wanna turn it off, all you gotta do is just press down two seconds, boom, it's off, right? So another, one of my favorite things about this is that it's battery operated. You take the battery out, you charge it. You don't gotta worry about plugging yourself on your bike. Cause that's a, if you guys know me, if you guys see my videos, I hate, I hate stuff like that. I hate where you have to plug yourself into the, no, 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 no. If I'm gonna get off, I wanna get off my bike. I don't worry about taking anything off. But anyways, you unzip this in the back right here, and this is where the battery pack is at. You uh, take that out, you unplug this, because the battery's fully charged now, right? But if I wanted to charge my battery, I could just take that out, and then I have my charger here. So it has two ends right here, obviously for the two gloves. Plug it in, and uh, it'll charge up. Um, I like this, uh, I, I uh, really like this. Very similar to the Gerben gloves that I have that you guys seen before. Um, now the actual real test is gonna be on the road on this cold day, it's 38 degrees. I'll show you guys the little weather app in a few so you guys can see for yourself because it's, it's cold down here in dirty Jersey. <sighs> now on the index finger, you're also gonna have that little pad right there to uh, access your phone, you can access your your device and swipe around. You won't be able to text, honestly. You won't be able to text with this, but at least you'll be able to um, scan out out of your apps and switch around, which is a plus. Let me just give you guys a nice close-up look of these and then we'll get on the road. So what's the temperature? 37 degrees. Turn these bad boys up. Let's crank them up to, yeah, turns on. This turns on on high. We'll just tighten this up. There we go. Ooh, you know, I like that because the wind won't go in there. Even if you're like wearing, let's say like a shirt that's gonna be um, going up, you're not gonna have that cold wind going in there. So that's a plus right there. Ah. turned on just like that i need to get another battery tender for this bike because it's been off the tender for ever since winter started um oh bay bay yeah it's been off the tender because i only had two tenders and one for the road glide and there it goes that's why i need to get another tender i got one of the road glide and one of the sporty
so I definitely gotta get one for this because I don't want that damn battery down on me. Oh, I feel these things heating up already. Now, this is the actual real test because in this test is where we can find out if as I'm riding, is any cold air going in my hands? Uh, is the heat actually, you know, keeping up? Is it really good or not? So uh, we'll go. And there's still some black ice out there on these roads. So this is what I do for you people. Putting my life on the line. <laughs> Alrighty. I gotta say, I haven't been on this bike for a little while right now. And yes, I have missed it. I love being on that road glide, but there's something about being on this low rider, man. That just, I don't know, makes me feel great. Anyways, let's get back to uh, talking about the uh, gloves. Um, these are a cheaper option when it comes to, let's say, my Gerbin gloves that I have. Um, I'll show you guys those in the video later on after we recap this little session here. Um, so yeah, the Gerbin's uh, obviously a lot more expensive. Um, that's for a reason these gloves are around like $89 so a lot a lot more affordable for the average person out there uh, so that's a plus you got a cheaper option with these you got four settings so you got high you got uh, lower like medium you got low and then you got like really low so four settings red being the highest I got it on red right now is it like crazy crazy heating up yet no i mean i just turned them off a few minutes ago um but you definitely feel the heat a lot on top of the palms more than the bottom and more than the fingertips which i prefer having heat more on my fingertips than on my palms um but we'll keep riding now i did try the uh touch screen on here so you also do have access with this little uh print right here you have access to your phone is it perfect no like you're, you're not gonna be able to text with it but you're able to slide in and out of different uh apps on your phone uh, so that's a plus uh you got that goat skin yes it says that it's goat skin um right here in the palms to give you more grip on everything um and then i know that the back end right here is all waterproof on the top i don't know about the goat skin um, I know that these nylon material parts, it says that it's waterproof, so that's a plus. But like I said, the bottom part where the goat skin's at, I'm not too sure. Um, yeah, stop right here. I do like it that it comes with these straps right here, so you tighten everything up so that cold wind doesn't go in there. And then you're also able to adjust this right here to make it more tighter. Um, it feels great. Now, as far as flexibility when you're riding a bike, I don't have any issues when I need to grab my clutches or maneuver around and press any buttons here. Um, so I feel really free. Um, they are brand new, so obviously I do need to break them in still. So without time, they'll even get more loose. Um, but they, they, they feel great. I know there, there's some gloves out there that feel extremely, extremely uh, puffy and just it doesn't allow you to move your hands and fingers around correctly the way you want to but these do so that's another plus now as far as wind like right now we're in the wind it's 38 degrees um i don't know i feel like my fingertips are a bit cold still the palm of my hands the top of my hands are really really warm but my fingertips are still they're still a little cold and as far as any wind flowing in, um, I don't feel any wind flowing in. Now I'm gonna be linking up the link down below. Uh, there is a website to the company. Uh, and then they also do sell their stuff on Amazon. So if you want your stuff shipped like right away as well, you can find them on Amazon. Now it is winter time right here out in dirty Jersey. Clear skies, blue skies today, but it is break man so if you are in a cold area i know you guys are definitely interested in getting some heated gear some heated gloves this is a cheaper option to go with do i recommend them 
if you're looking for a cheaper option and you want your hands warm, yes. Um, I'll be honest though still, my fingertips are still a bit cold. That I'll be honest about. But as far as my hands, they're warm though. And my fingertips are, you know, they're like, they're like a little cold, but they're not like freezing, so they're fine. But hey, we keep it honest out here, baby. Whatever it is, good or bad, I'm always gonna keep it honest. Now they did send me a second pair, so I'm either gonna do a giveaway or I might just give them to one of my close friends who need a pair. They are a size extra large. That's another thing which I'll touch base on right now. Uh, for sizing. If you're worried about sizing, go up a size because I'm usually like a medium for everything. Um, I had to go with a large for this. And this large fits me like a medium. So definitely go up a size. Um, they do feel very snug. They feel comfortable. Uh, the inside does feel nice and plush as well, which is another plus. I like that. My damn visors are getting all foggy. <laughs> damn, I miss this bike. Guys, uh, there is a huge surprise coming up for next month, which I can't, I wish I could share with you right now, but I can't, but stay tuned. And if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe to my channel um that's gonna notify you anytime i upload into Buddha content hit that bell button man um don't forget about the giveaway that i'm doing right now you guys have two and a half weeks left to enter in that giveaway i'm doing a free giveaway of these all in s hand grips right here um so scroll down watch that video you can watch all the instructions on how to join that giveaway um so two and a half weeks left for that giveaway i'm gonna do that i might be doing a giveaway on these gloves and I might be doing a giveaway on the uh, motorcycle cover, uh, which I'll be doing a follow-up video for that in a few days as well. We've got some new covers in, which I need to try out and let you guys know how they are. Um, so yeah, let's head back to the garage. It's cold in here. Um, all right, so do I recommend these gloves? If you're looking for a cheaper options, yes, I recommend them. Uh, my hands were pretty warm. I'll say it again, the tips of my fingers were a bit cold still, not to the point where it's like, I'm like this cold, but you just, it, it, they, they weren't warm enough, right? So that's the, uh, that's the honest truth. Um, I didn't feel any wind flowing through the gloves, which is a plus. Um, but I do like it that it has four settings. I do like the Velcro to tighten up around the wrist. I do like the other strap right here where you're able to tighten that up so no wind goes in uh, your hands. Um, and it's waterproof, so yeah. So if you guys are interested in buying some of this stuff, I'm gonna be linking the link down below. I might be doing a giveaway for the second pair. It's an extra large, or I might be giving it to one of my friends. If they need it, I'll give it to one of them. If they don't, then you guys will be a lucky winner. Also, like I said before, don't forget to check out that video. I'm doing a giveaway for my Arlen S grips down below. So just, just scroll down and you'll, you'll see that video. You'll follow the instructions and I'll put you in the mix for you to get that. You got two and a half weeks left. So enter that little, uh, that giveaway. Huge shout out to Savvy Heat for sending these out to me. Really, really appreciate it. That's gonna be it, guys. Like always, let the force be with you. Ride safe and enjoy the ride, baby.